what's up so i don't know if this phone is gonna stay where i want it to stay but currently i am on my way home um from michael's um and i kind of failed because <laughs> i was gonna go to the mall today to get some christmas gifts for my friends and my family um but guys are crafters or like have a hobby of any sort you know you cannot go into a craft store without spending at least fifty dollars <laughs> and so that's what I did today I went in because I needed some black yarn to finish this like hat scarf thing that I'm making and it's gonna be really cute trust me but I saw this that this type of yarn that I had been looking for forever and I had only been able to find it online from like boutique places that cost so much and but today I found it I'm gonna show you guys in a second once I get part but I'm so excited and it was on sale so it was initially like ten dollars a skein but today I found it and it was on sale for for something which I was so excited about because I mean that's like half off right pretty much God. my road is always so packed I don't have to park on the street because I don't have garage actually the spot in front of my house is empty so I'm complaining for no reason anyway let me show you this fabulous scarf that I just got it's like this mohair stuff. I think that's what you call it. But I'm so happy because like I have seen this um, around for a while. I got three of them. I got two of this pink color because like I want to do like a bubblegum like cotton candy skirt looking thing that looks like a freaking fairy would wear it. And then I got this because I feel like white is really versatile and you can add it to like a lot of different colors just to make it look more fluffy. Y'all, if you could feel this right now, it feels like a sheep, like genuinely. I know a lot of people don't like the feeling of sheep because they like kind of have like a little give to it and it, I don't know, but I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, and then I got this color to go with it, um, with the pink. I think that would look really good. But I noticed now that I'm seeing it in different lighting, the pink doesn't really shine out as much as the purple does, so I'm hoping it looks good together, especially like with this lighter pink. It kind of like looks yellow on camera actually, but it's pink in real life. Um, I'm hoping it looks good with that. I don't know. With it like intertwined in it, like can you guys see the vision? I don't know. Um, and then continuing with the skirt idea i don't think this will be enough by itself to like make a full like skirt that's gonna cover my ass so i got this as well to do some like layers i should turn my car off to do just some like layers within to like break it up a little bit i don't know how to explain it but it's gonna be cool i can see it in my mind it's gonna be awesome um and then of course i got two of these just basic loops and thread loops and threads impeccable yarn um because that's the kind that i'm using to do my little cat scarf hat thing um i'm going to show you guys that when it's done too i think however that this is a different dye lot because this looks like like slightly green like you know the that type of black that has like blue dyes in it and it makes it kind of look kind of green but i'm not selling this so i don't think it's gonna really matter that much i don't even know if you'll be able to tell or not but it should work um so i'm really excited about this actually i might make a video on like my process of making the skirt because i think that would be a fun video and i've used like the same technique 
I guess, to make all of the skirts that I made in the past. Um, so it might be fun to kind of like do a little tutorial on that. Um, but anyway, how's my life been going lately? I went in to get my car fixed up this morning um because it has been out of commission for like months like all summer early spring like initial okay let me back it up initially the issue was the power steering pump had went out on it and i was not able to turn the wheel and it just kept getting worse and worse so i let it sit in front of my house for um months and then it got a, or a 48 hour notice put on it because the tags had expired and they went into my car. So I moved it like to the other side of town where my partner's family lives and they could like look at it and make sure nothing happened to it. Um, and so I like another month goes by and I'm finally able to afford to fix it because I had been saving for a while get it fixed and so that's what I did this morning I don't know when it's gonna be ready but I am so excited y'all to finally have my car back because that was my first car I mean yeah it was my first car I love her to death all of my best memories I mean that's that's like exaggeration but like I have a lot of really good memories in that car and that's the car that I learned to drive in. That's the car I got my first accident in. I mean, it wasn't really an accident. I just backed into someone's car. But, yeah. I'm just really excited to have it back because I miss it. Like, I got in the driver's seat this morning to, like, see if it would start up. It did not. We'll get to that in a second. Um, to see if it would start up. I was like, oh my god. I did not realize how much I missed you until now. My sweet baby child. That was cringe. Anyway. Um, what did I say I would get back to? Oh yeah, it wouldn't start up. So, a few weeks ago. When we went. Or like a month ago. When we went to move it. Um, it would start up with a jump, um, and that's how we were able to move it, but this morning, however, it was not wanting to start up, so we had to get it towed, and that was an extra $80 that we had to collectively spend to get it to the shop, and like, I don't want to say $80 is nothing, but the repair cost is probably going to be a lot more, so we were prepared to spend, and by me, I mean we, me and my partner, but we were prepared to spend, like, a lot of money on this freaking car. I don't know why I didn't just, actually, no, I tried to sell it, and I tried to get it scrapped out for parts, and nobody freaking wanted it. Like, fine, I guess I'll just fix the damn thing. Nobody wants it. It's an 05 Pontiac Grand Prix. Like, they're not they're pretty dependable cars i mean like i see a lot of them running around and like in rough condition <laughs> like they'll get like their whole front end smashed up and people still like be driving them around so like that's got to count for something you know um it's got to count for something um but i guess i just kind of wanted to um make this video because I was really in a yapping mood like I wanted to talk and I don't really have anyone to talk to because like everyone's either asleep or at work right now um and I look you don't have that many friends so I thought I would just record myself talking to myself and then upload it to pretend like I have friends I guess um but yeah I I'm probably going to do a separate video working with this yarn. And I'm going to do a little review of it or something. I don't know. Should I just turn, change my channel into a crafting channel? Like a crochet channel? I don't know. I don't think that would do very well. But also, why? I don't care how well videos do. Like, I've never had good luck with, like, Instagram accounts or YouTube accounts or anything. Like, I've never made a video or anything i mean aside from tiktok because it's like kind of easy to get views on tiktok um but i've never had any account get more than like a thousand followers and the only time i did was on tiktok but yeah 
so I don't care if I get views or not. I'm just kind of kind of thinking out loud. I think it would be fun to make your own videos, but I don't want to like dedicate my whole channel to one subject because then it kind of feels like a chore to upload and I don't want my hobby that I enjoy so much to feel like a chore. So we'll see. I might here and there post some crocheting videos because that's what I spend a lot of my time on and it's easy to make videos about things that I care about. I guess. I'm saying a lot of really contradicting stuff right now. Um, if you can tell, I don't have a script. Also, completely off topic. These things from Wendy's, normally they're pretty good. I think they're called Frosty Cold Brews or something. Today, I went and I was expecting like the normal flavor or whatever. I get it. And first of all, the color is wrong. It's like really light. It was like a little bit suspicious. Um, my partner got one too. I think they got vanilla flavor and I got chocolate. I don't know which is which. They taste the exact same. And let me tell you what they taste like. Milk tea. Like if you have ever had milk tea, you know that it does not taste like coffee. And like, I'm not like that mad about it obviously because like I mean I like I think it tastes good I mean I like milk tea but it's just not what I was expecting at all and I don't know what is in this for it to just not taste like coffee at all I don't think it is coffee it's just like brown like coffee colored if any of you guys work at Wendy's let me know because I'm I'm kind of confused I don't know um but yeah i need to get inside it's like starting to rain it's been raining for um a few days now but it like there was a break for a couple hours and i missed my opportunity to go in because i was too busy talking to my phone um but yes i think that is the video for today um if you are interested in seeing what i make with this lovely yarn you can totally subscribe and i will upload that video whenever i feel like it or if i do we'll see it if i remember to record the process and do my little voiceover oh god the voiceover um <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just being i'm just being weird today um but yeah um thank you if you've listened to me um talk for this long um sorry someone just walked past me and they look kind of like nervous i hope everything's okay um but yeah i will probably upload again when i feel like it and i'll see you then so bye